If you carry a firearm, firearm security has to be on your list of priorities. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson. Today's lesson comes to you from my hometown, Phoenix, Arizona, and it shows us the significant priority that we must place on firearm security. If you carry a firearm, I want you to pay attention to this one and think about your own firearm security, whether you openly carry or you concealed carry, because this is how fast your gun can be taken from you. This McDonald's is not in a great area of Phoenix. This guy here at the bottom is our perpetrator, and this guy here has a gun in his back pocket. You can just barely see it. And so I wanted to stop this one and give us a little bit of context because it happens just lightning fast. So we see our perp who's on his phone here, just walk up and grab the guy's gun, head to his right, and then run out of the store. Now, if you read the news story in the description, the guy chased him out of the store where this guy pointed the gun at him. So let's go back and let's learn a few lessons here. I think the biggest one is that if you're gonna openly carry a firearm, you must, must, must do so in a retention holster. This gun was just stuffed in this guy's back pocket. It didn't have any retention. I don't even think it was holstered because it was visible from the outside. If you were gonna openly carry a firearm, you must do so with a quality retention holster. The ones that I recommend, and the biggest one that I recommend is the Safari Land ALS. But never stick a gun in your back pocket. And if you do, for gracious sakes, you gotta be aware. Secondly, once that guy takes that gun, you gotta recognize that he now has your deadly force multiplier. And you gotta get after him right now. You can't chase him into the parking lot. You gotta get after him now instead of standing there and wondering what the heck is going on, because this guy got a long way away. Third, if you don't have a deadly force force multiplier, and he does, don't chase him out into the parking lot. This guy failed on a lot of levels. Learn some lessons here and cover your rasp.